for what it's worth. 1867. That's the year it was. They decided that people, children, parents, relatives, should not be taught anything other than what they thought they should be taught, thereby making it <clears throat> since 1867. No one really knows anything about what it is they call the thing itself, since the thing itself that everyone has been taught to believe was told to those who taught those to believe that which was the policy, limit what they know, making it possible for us to know not anything, no matter how educated. <laughs> Or or, 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 or or what level of ASAT or SAP or SAT that you, I mean, let it be known that all you know is what they gave you, <clears throat> knowledge of things, things that could have been true to some degree or things that could have been altered, facts altered in order to fit the master's view. So, what do we know in the here and now? Our politicians, I mean, look at what we got. I mean, look at what we got leading us. Lions would not allow a weak link to lead them. We could not ever be considered lions because our spirits are not connected as one, we've been told to believe what we were taught to believe. No one is teaching you anything other than your conscience allowing you to be taught. It's an allowed situation. You have the intelligence. Without consciousness, your intelligence only exists waiting to be utilized by consciousness. And when you do this, you start to open up to that opening that opens into the openness and you stop <clears throat> believing that those people they tell you you should fear just because their skin doesn't appear or their language or their tongue or their beliefs or the God they believe in <clears throat> or the Lord they pray to is different from the one you were taught to. We have to get past that. When we reach that strength, when we reach that level, we'll no longer be sub-level with the universal devil. You take, for instance, those of you who go to church. Do you know that if you went to the bank where the money goes, that your mother and father and grandparents who are all afraid of the Jesus story have been giving their tithes to, and the money where that bank go and the money that bank goes to, you couldn't even get a loan. Leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. It is what it is. The only reason why they use the name of Jesus is because he's a good. He's a, a great, he's a great credible partner and he doesn't take a cut. That's why Jesus is so big and so important in their Christianity. He's a credible partner who doesn't take a cut. Just that simple. Jesus doesn't need your money. Jesus is a metaphor for a wonderful character and a wonderful with a wonderful attitude and behavior towards humanity. Jesus is an attitude, a behavior, a kindness, a wonderfulness, not a religion. It's a giving, a consciousness, a kindness, knowing that being kind is better than being right. That's a form of Jesus, a behavior. <clears throat> Let that be what it is. Don't give up. If something's not working the way you want it to, don't give up. Just change the, the the motivation or the energy that you're using to get where you're trying to get. I'm going to let you go with that. I'm out. Peace, guys.